welcome back viewers in the course in this lecture we will insert data into table in the database because we have already created the database in table so we don't need to discuss it again so now it's time to insert data into that table I mean this one using this page so for that we have to create a, a, a form in HTML so I will come here and we'll create a form method will be is equal to post and action will be is equal to form.php form close now I will have to add a few input takes put type is equal to the first one will be text and the name of this input will be name itself and I will add a placeholder will say write your name we'll just copy this whole bunch of code I mean this whole take and we'll paste it three times next one will be enter your email this name will be email sorry this will be pass second one enter your pass third one will be email and enter your email and this one type will be I mean the password type will be password and the last one is basically its type is submit name is sub and here we will add value instead of placeholder value will be uh, insert data that's it and we will add br take line break to all of these inputs so we can see them clearly and all is to save now come here press the page and you can see write your name write your pass write your email now we can just go and straight write the PHP script or inserting data into the table because we already have established the connection above now just start the PHP block again and say if is set dollar underscore post inside this two curly brackets we will write all the code for this now let me just tell you about this as well if mean if it is a statement I mean a condi uh, uh, you know comparison statement and is set is set is a function which mean if something has been clicked or something has happened on the page or something has is active on the page basically so we say using the post method because the form method is post so we say sub as a button here if that is clicked or that is active then do the rest of the thing in inside this clause I mean I'll execute all the code if this is not clicked then don't run this block of code so first of all we will get the values from these three I mean input fields first we will create a local variable with the name dollar sign the name that will be equal to uh, post its name is name above we can create local variables with any name but just this is appropriate and we are going uh, relevant with the names I mean uh, actually the values that are coming so this is a good practice basically the next is pass variable equal to dollar underscore post and we have given pass above as well last one is email is equal to dollar underscore post and that is emails so we have got the data now we can just test it out by echoing them all
control is to save and just come back refresh the page list abdul is my email wali is my password and abc at gmail.com is my email click insert data abdul wali abc that's mean data is coming so we are going just perfect tell here that's nice and great now i will just remove this echo statement because we don't need that now we just wanted to test now we will write a query and a query is always written inside uh, you know this two inverted commas then semicolon is always added because the, uh, for the line declaration for statement declaration now i will say uh, insert into insert into the table name is php and in these two curly bracket uh, parentheses i will write the field names of the inside the table and then we'll say values and values will be inside this two parentheses so this is the query now we can save this query inside a local variable which name will be select sorry insert a local variable with the name insert and that will be equal to this query so we later on can just uh, you know give this variable as a reference to the query and we will run the query function the mysql query function so insert into php table the names here in the table are there's one basically the id is are to incremented we don't need to add this to that query but we need we can say name pass an email so with a simple order like name is the first field or first column then pass and then email so these three are the fields or columns in this table we want to insert the data into and the next thing is which data should go there the data from the name variable the data from the pass variable and the data from the email variable that's it very nice and simple query you can you sh you, you need to add single quotes here single quotes and then the comma then single quote then the comma and then single quotes inside the single quotes you need to exactly put the variable i mean these variables you are you have here now this query has been written very easily and simply now on the next line we can say we can create another variable with the name run and you can save the query mysql i underscore query so this is the query basically the query function that will run this query and will insert the data into the table so to this mysql i underscore query function you need to add two parameters the one parameter is the connection which is inside the con i mean local variable this is the connection of the database and saved in this local variable we can add it anywhere so we said the connection this is the database connection and then comma and then we say insert is the query that we need we want to insert into the database that's it all is done now we can say if run if run has been executed then inside the two curly brackets we'll say echo and we'll write registration sorry in h3 tag we'll say registration successful thanks that's it control is to save this simple php script you can see we have written and this will actually insert the data to the table control s to save refresh the page now let's write the name abdul wali password wali khan and abc at gmail.com click insert data uh, data just check here data has not been inserted there is any problem insert into php name pass email values name pass email my sql i query
MySQL IQ connection insert there is some mistake maybe there might be a little bit silly mistake which I need to find insert into php ok let me just echo this query so I can say what is happening I can see actually Abdul Wali Wali Khan ABC insert insert into php name oh sorry I'm really sorry the table name is user not php php is basically the <laughs> I'm really sorry it was very silly mistake PHP is actually the database name the table name inside that database is users we have to give the table name not the database name so that was the simple silly mistake you sometimes do you know in while writing PHP codes now that has been done correct it and now just refresh the page now the data should go to the table click in first of all just let me remove this echo from the insert query because we don't need that we need this statement to be triggered now so save the page again now click insert data registration successful thanks come here to the table browse and you can see Abdul Wali Wali Khan ABC gmail.com and ID has been automatically incremented with two and if we add one more person for example John Doe John and John Doe at gmail.com click insert registration successful thanks come here and you can see a third uh, I mean the third row has been added here with auto incrementing option so that is really nice awesome uh, simply working and we have just inserted the data from this uh, script PHP using the HTML page we have inserted the data into the table now in the next lecture we will talk about how we can select that data and view that data on this page again back from this I mean from this table how we can how we can actually view and display that data on this page uh, for more you know easy reading see you in next lecture